Good morning from my bathroom, guys. So today is Friday. <laughs> I have like the biggest towel in the world on my hair. I'm going to take it off. Um, today is Friday and I'm vlogging because... I'm going to sit down. I'm going to sit down, get comfortable. I'm vlogging today because I had planned on vlogging. Um, however, there have been some changes to my plans. Um, yesterday, or actually the night before, so what is that? Wednesday night, I came down with a cough. A cough only. The only thing I have is a cough. I feel absolutely fine. Um, but because we're supposed to be going up to see Mike's parents today um, for the first time in, I think it's like seven months we've been up to see to stay with his parents. Um, and I was supposed to be seeing my mum today as well because it's her birthday tomorrow. Um, I went and got a test yesterday and I'm now waiting on the results. So basically today has turned from a super exciting, busy, busy day because I was taking my mum out. I had a really fun day plan and if I get the results back and they're negative we can still go but it's basically a waiting game and um, it can take 48 hours so it might not even be today that we're here so um, so today is a waiting game it's Friday on the plus side it means that Mike is home because obviously um, he can't if I did have coronavirus he then can't go and potentially go to work and infect other people blah 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 so we're stuck in the house nothing new there right um, and I'm vlogging anyway. In more exciting news, um, I actually have a collaboration with Longcom um, today, which I'm really excited about. It's actually not today that I'm filming this, but it is today, the day that you're seeing this. I'm actually going to be going live with them and doing a skincare um, talk through of all of my favourite products from the Longcom lineup um, and demo and all of that jazz and answering questions and just generally doing a live over um, on their website. So I'll pop a link below. It's actually going live at 6pm on the 7th of October, which is the day that this video is going live. So if you do want to head over, if you're watching this fresh and you do want to head over and see it live, you can. But if you have missed that time, um, it's still going to be up on that site anyway, so you can go and watch as well. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to do my morning skincare routine with you because as you can tell, I have no makeup on, um, don't look fantastic and I'm going to get ready for the day. Even if we're not doing anything, it's going to be a good Friday. These are all the products from my Longcom skincare edit and you can currently shop them all at 20% off as well. If you like Longcom, now is your time. Um, and I'm going to use all of these this morning, a little bit of a chat through of all of them because... Um, I mean, some of them need no introduction. Let me give myself a nice, a nice little facial because I feel like it's gonna be, it's gonna be very low down here. I feel like I need to do a makeshift tripod out of skincare products. Hang on a minute. Precarious is what this is, but we're gonna go ahead with it anyway. I'm actually gonna start off with a little scrub. Um, sometimes I'll use the cleanser before the scrub, but because I've got clean skin, I just gave it a, a water rinse in the shower. I'm using the rose sugar scrub, and I actually really like this because. The sugar granules dissolve as you're applying it. So I just, I use a tiny bit of water just to loosen it up. And it also just smells so divine. It's just a nice way, nice way to start the day. I don't normally do this in the morning, actually. I normally do the scrub in the evening, but I've been liking this one. And it works quite well using this before a cleanser because I find with any scrub, um, if you cleanse afterwards, it just gets rid of any kind of residue or little bits or whatever. Um, but obviously normally if I had makeup on, I would like take my makeup off first. But I'm then using the Miel on Mousse cleanser, which is, this is a favorite of mine. I've raved about this for so long and I've never heard anyone else talk about it. I don't know if it's just me, just me, but it deserves a lot more love than it gets. And this is the most divine, the texture of this. My friend came over the other day, actually, who is like a complete skincare, the other day, it was like months ago, who's a complete skincare obsessive. Um, and she was like, oh my God, how have I never tried this? She borrowed the cleanser because she didn't have her own. And literally she was like, it's amazing. It goes into this, goes from like a honey, literally it's like a sticky honey texture into this like super rich, like micro foam. You guys can see, got a gross, the remnants of a spot under my nose there. Yeah, so nice. I just love it. And it's slightly scented, like slightly sweet scented. It just is really nice, but not overpowering. Just leaves your skin. It feels like it's really cleaning it, but it doesn't strip it and leave it like squeaky. So it's perfect if you don't want something super nourishing, like a balm, it's a perfect kind of middle ground. 
And then my favourite part, I'm going to put on a generous helping of this, which is Lancome's iconic Genifique serum, which is pro probiotic, prebiotic, and packed with hyaluronic acid as well, so it's literally the dream for the morning. Just like, and night time to be fair. Put this on, and then if you want to see me do the rest of the routine, I'm gonna fast forward through it, but if you want to know more about each of the individual products, then head over to the live, um, and I'll be talking in more detail about them, because I don't want to repeat myself too much for those of you who want to go and watch that. Um, but yeah, I will see you for hair. Good morning team. Good morning. Look at this mess. Dogs everywhere. Stuff everywhere. River mean. watching Noddy. Hey Curly Top. Seriously. Are you enjoying Noddy this morning, oh, Mike? Fantastic. When did you finish in the bathroom so I can go for a shower? <gasps> this looks outrageous on camera. What, nice shirt? tan. Nice tan. <laughs> Lovely shirt. Lovely new shirt. Sparkles in your cycle. I mean, good morning. Good morning Whoa. to you puppies. So, oh, those of you who follow me on Insta will have seen this week, I also chopped about six inches off my hair. This is super short for me. It feels short. Feels short. Doesn't look that short. Um, so, I'm just gonna... This is the first time I've washed it since I've cut it. That funny feeling, you know, when you first wash your hair after you've changed style a little bit. It's like, what am I supposed to do with it? Putting in a little bit of leave-in conditioner, which I actually had this. <laughs> yeah. I do know. You you just put him on. You put him on the bed. Just throw him up there. Um. So I'm putting a little bit of leave-in conditioner in. I actually spoke about both of these products that I'm going to use in my <laughs> in my monthly favourites. The first one is Philip Kingsley Elastistyler, which is like the styling version of Elasticizer. Hi baby. I'm gonna put a bit of that in and brush it through and then I'm gonna rough dry it and see what it looks like. I had been trying, before I chopped it all off, I've been trying to use less heat, but I'm not gonna do that today. Hello gorgeous girl. What do you think, Mike? Straight or I curly? Think curly. You think curly? Look how much thicker it looks. So crazy. But yeah, this is super short for me. Not as short as I would have gone yesterday if I'd not, not had to cancel my hair appointment. Mike's not happy about this car. Shocker. As long as you're fit and healthy. I feel fine. That's the annoying thing. Right, let's curl it. Using these. I always use these. Hello. Oh, you got daddy's slippers on. They're my sliders. My goodness. So I'm going to put some waves in and then use a little bit of this, which is the Orbe Super Shine Moisturising Cream. Does it make it go super shiny? It makes it go super shiny, which is something that I get asked about a lot because it's difficult to get shine in blonde hair, which is nothing you know about, Mike. But... It's probably still also difficult to get shining grey hair, which is something that Mike does, is concerned about. So, oh, yeah. I say concerned about, he is not concerned. He would happily go completely grey. But yeah. What do you anyway, mean completely grey? You're, you're, halfway, you're halfway there. How rude. Right. Silver fox. You're my silver fox. This is, this is danger zone. We've got all sorts of tangles nice, going nice You go around the other side. side. Okay. This, see, this is what happens when you get involved with wires. Everything gets tangled. Yeah. Always. This is basically the curler ah, that I use Put all the out. time. So makeup and hair done for the day. I'm actually also wearing my old, this is a couple of years old, All Saints jumper with the leopard at the back and then my All Saints leather leggings. 
potentially all dressed up, nowhere to go, but we'll see. I might go and do some baking with River. It's, such, it's one of those days as well that's like super rainy and miserable. So we just got downstairs after leaving Riv with Mike for about half an hour and the kitchen that looked tidy last night when I went to bed is trashed. So in true lockdown style, now that I'm, we're stuck back in the house again, I'm gonna do a little bit of a clean up. Let's do it. This also just arrived, which is uh, an Amazon order today of a digital ultrasonic jewelry cleaner. I had one of these before and I don't know what happened to it, but since we redid the kitchen, it used to live um, in the cupboard. I couldn't find it and I've looked for it for months and it got to the point where I was like, I'm gonna have to buy another one because I actually use them quite a lot. So what do you do on a miserable, rainy afternoon? Clean all your skanky jewellery and my rings, seriously, are so gross. Like, I'm gonna try and show you underneath my ring here. It's not a pretty sight. It's good that you can't see all sorts of dirt and grime. So, this is a different one to the one I had before. But they work a treat. I don't usually use them on my antique stuff, just in case it's not set um, as well. Looks pretty similar to be fair, similar kind of vibe. But um, basically you put hot um, soapy water in here and it sonically vibrates the water and all of the dirt comes out of your jewellery and then it's squeaky clean again. But all the jewels are in. Let the cleaning commence. I even took out all of my little earrings including the ones that have healed up. So I'm gonna go and give my ears a really good clean as well, because you know what, it piercings are like, they're kind of gross. This is really red, because it took me a bit of fiddling to get it out. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and have an ear clean too, woohoo. And I'm not sure what's going on in here, but it sounds like you guys, what are you doing? Hopscotching. She started making the noises that I make when I jump. <laughs> Good job she's not watching me in the gym. Are you ready? <laughs> Talk about murky water. Um, I think we might have got some dirt out of there. And then I basically just pour everything out onto a cloth and then just dry it all up individually. But it makes such a difference. Like the stuff, especially for anything that's set with stones in. I'll show you what's underneath here. It is so gross, like so much dirt. Can you see that? It's not focusing on it because it's like below the water, but yeah, it is pretty gross and very satisfying. And it works especially well for things like this, which is a little tiny, tiny baguette diamond stud that I wear in my tragus, my ears, and it has a little hole in the back so you can, like, when you go to clean it, you can get in there, but if you're trying to clean it with your hands, it's virtually impossible. And it comes out looking super shiny, squeaky clean. Doing a little bit of gift wrapping. It is our nephew's birthday this weekend, which is why we we're supposed to be going up to Yorkshire, but um, might not be happening now. But we're gonna wrap his present up, just in case we get a Mom, negative result and then we can leave. Mom, um, can you help? a little jumper Mom, and a Ferrari car. Are you helping? Watch out. Watch out. Here we go, we're gonna wrap. It's also my mum's birthday tomorrow, so I'm wrapping up her present, which is, I don't know what's going on over here, which is um, this shirt from All Saints. I actually have the dress version of this. Um, that they sent me, but um, I bought the shirt version for my mum. I love this print, I love the colours in it. It's got the like, nice bright blue. Got her the giant limited edition version of Pro Collagen Marine Cream, which is her favourite. And um, these two books, which yes, they are children's books. However, I've been listening to the audio books of these and they're so good. It's basically like, it's. I feel like it's almost as good as Harry Potter. And I used to read books like this at the same time as my mum when I, I was little. See you. Hello. Hello. I see you. Hello. I hear you. <laughs>
just making some lunch. I have just made myself some veggie um, gyoza. Mike actually did these, which I'm sharing with River, but she decided she wants to sit over there. Are they yum? Uh huh. Um, and some wonton soup. Tasty, lazy lunch. So it's a bit later now, currently 3 p.m. Still no results yet. Um, I'm just sitting here with a coffee in my dressing gown because I'm freezing. Um, I definitely haven't got used to the autumn temperatures yet. We need to put the heating on, I think, but we are resisting. Riv is somewhere playing with Mike and I am drinking my coffee and <coughs> getting up the courage to start oiling the stairs. Now, the stairs are a project I started about five weeks ago and then gave up on because it's a stinky job. If you guys have ever used linseed oil before, you'll know what I mean. It stinks, like I hate the smell of it. Um, but basically, our stairs, I'll show you what I did actually and I'll show you like the, the situation on the stairs. Um, basically, I've started oiling, so the carpet's gonna get replaced in a couple of months. I wanted to like, properly give this a go before that happened because I don't want to get the linseed oil anywhere near the new carpet but basically I've done one coat on this section of the wood and then I stopped about here you can literally see my fingerprints where I stopped so you can see the difference it's made to the wood it's just made it a lot darker especially down the bottom I think I like used a bit more and got a bit more involved on those two bottom steps but basically it just conditions the wood and makes it look darker these used to be um painted and they got stripped so they're quite like dry and just very kind of pale oaky looking i also did the banister and the banister has gone a lot darker which looks great i just can't wait to get these done and then get the new stairs so the carpet is going cream with a black runner on the edge um and i think it's just gonna look really smart so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing this afternoon remember my first lockdown vlog when i resealed this floor doesn't that seem like two minutes ago and a million years all at the same time? What's happened here? Someone's been making a bit of mess. And we've just been doing the work. <laughs> Is this at work? Taking notes. Whilst Mike's been working. <laughs> I love the tape measure as well. It's quite an interesting addition. Don't touch it, okay. It's nearly six o'clock and still no word. So I'm pretty sure we're not going anywhere today regardless of the results. Um, but... I'm gonna light a fire. I actually lit this fire. So we have a gas fire in the kitchen, which is super, super nice, because it means that you can um, basically just turn a fire on like that. You don't need to have any wood. Amazing. But it wasn't like legit um, before we had it serviced and had the um, chimney reopened, because this was like touching. So basically the, all the fumes were going into the kitchen. So we never really used to use it. And we recently, it takes ages to start up, we only recently serviced it, so now we can use it. And it is nice and toasty and warm. Here it comes, I always get a bit scared now that it's gonna singe my eyebrows. Whoa. Cozy and warm. Someone else is cozy and warm, two people. <laughs> Having a nice snuggle on the sofa. And MDF here is, what are you looking for, something to cook? For River. Why don't we just all cook something for all of us? Bit early for us. I'm hungry. <laughs> I was thinking about doing like a um, bean stew from the cupboard. Yeah. Do you want? What do you want a cuddle? No. A daddy cuddle. Dada. Da. For dinner, I'm gonna cook a kind of bean and lentil stew. I'm actually like, using up a load of cans that I have in the pantry because we don't have much in the fridge, and it just seems like a good way to use everything up. Um, we we'll use some things up. Um, make some good dinner. So I have got some carrots from the garden, some mushrooms, um, some red onion, some garlic, sweet corn lentils, beans, and tomatoes. Um, I'm gonna throw in some spice as well. I'm actually gonna do it in the thermo mix too, which is why I haven't chopped these up, because I'm gonna chop those up first, then put everything in, just throw it all in and cook it all up. So I use the thermo mix to whiz up the onions and garlic, and I've just um, fried them up with a little bit of oil and the mushrooms. And now I'm going to throw in everything else and leave it to cook and leave it to stir for about half an hour and see where we get to. It's currently 6.41 and I literally just got to us five minutes ago saying that I don't have coronavirus. Hooray! As we thought. Um, like I said, 
better to be safe than sorry and we're now packing up and heading up to Yorkshire tonight um, because then we can be um, up there for Saturday and Sunday. So it's kind of the original plan anyway. Mike was gonna go straight from work so he wouldn't have been there until nine anyway. So it works and it also means we're all going one car, which is good. So there we go. Hooray, let's get this show on the road. Oh, by the way, as I'm packing it up to take it with us now, this is the veggie stew to go. It actually smells really good. I threw some rosemary in there. It smells like lamb stew, but it's not. We're on the road, two hours and 48 minutes in. Some swine shut the A1. So we have had a rather interesting journey up. Little Nuglet is sleeping in the back there. She fell asleep about five minutes into the journey, so that's good. But yeah, I'm just feeling I feel like today is just one of those days, isn't it? I mean, at least it stopped raining. I mean, at least it stopped raining. It rained from like, well, I don't know so when it started. It from when we woke up. this morning when the alarm went off to pretty Five much minutes we before we left home. And it was still raining all the way up until we got probably to Sheffield. Yeah. But hey, we're up north. Everyone's friendlier up north. Good morning, guys. We actually abandoned finishing the vlog yesterday. It's a beautiful, beautiful sunny day this morning, and we're going to see River's new best buddies. No, bad idea. Grandma's little ponies. Idea, yes. Look, here they come. They're so excited, River. Hey, buddies. Hello. Hello. Oh, hi. He's like, give me the snacks. Hi, buddies. Oh, so she wanted to stand. Stand? Ah, Put your feet in. Say hey, hey, ponies. Put your feet in. Like that, and then you can stroke the You're pony. You're going to stroke them. Say hi. Say hi, pony. Oh. oh I'm too, I'm too, they're too grassy. They're too, too grassy. grassy. Good morning. Oh, my goodness. Oh, That's what your wellies are for. Done. Hi, Sam. Hi, Mummy. Look at these guys. So cute. This is the first time River's properly seen them as well since she's been big enough to like horses. Little cuties. Bye ponies. So see you Riv. Can you jump? I'll hold that. You ready? One, two, three, jumping! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, poo sticks for the win. Poo sticks for the win. Ready? Ready? Go! Go, 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 go to the other side! Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> Who's gonna win? It's gonna be close. It's gonna be it's close. It's gonna be really close. There we go, there it is, look. Right there, there it is, Riv. Ooh. I think that's your one. Oh. Just kidding, guys. The rain is back, and we're now walking. Off-roading. Off-roading with the buggy. So this isn't our buggy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's not our buggy, but we basically decided to bring Riv on a long walk because the weather was nice, and, and it started raining down. again, she and she was very grumpy. She was having a terrible two moment, and she's now sat in, sat in the pushchair eating apples, a very, very grumpy, enjoying a bit of Yorkshire countryside. <laughs> Great weather, Nat. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It's gonna be it from us today. But hopefully we'll see you again soon. Mike stopped. We look, you look like scary in that. <laughs> My hood's like enormous. I can't even see out of it. Um, but yeah, see you soon. And take care of yourselves. Bye.